Hey guys! How's everybody doing today? Whoop. Who's on with me here? It's a beautiful, another beautiful day in sunny Southern California. Just um, got home from a day, a morning at the soccer field and took the guy, took the boy to um, in and out Burger for a little lunch. Hi, Tracy. How are you? And um, <clears throat> took the boy for a little in and out because that's his favorite, one of his favorites. And he did such a good job at his uh, soccer game. Hi, Claire. That I wanted to treat him. Plus, um, those who know about Fragile X, you know, once you start something, a tradition, whether it's going out to eat after the soccer game, then you have to keep that going. <laughs> Hi, Kimberly. How's everybody doing today? What are you guys up to? It's a beautiful day. Um, it does not feel like fall here. It still feels like summer. I'm in my um, short sleeve and shorts and, you know, um, flip-flops and all that good stuff. So, um... It just doesn't, I'm just not fully in the spirit, but that's okay. It'll get there. Um, I don't complain because we live in Southern California and, you know, I don't dare complain. But anyway, um, so I'm sitting here or I'm standing here making my quinoa salad, which I've shared with um, on in the Facebook Live world before all coming in. Sorry. Um, I've shared my recipe with you guys before. Hi, Kathy. Um, and I will share that again if you didn't catch um, my live. It was probably a couple months ago, so um, I know with all the activity that goes on, on in Facebook land that things get lost in the shuffle. So if you're interested um, in my quinoa salad, then I will um, message me and I will send you the recipe. But basically, um, I make quinoa, and if... Um, if you guys are familiar with quinoa, it's similar, it's a grain, um, it's similar to, um, but it has protein in it. It's similar, the way you cook it is like a rice. Um, and so I cook that first and chill it. And then I make, um, hi Don, I make, um, or I chop up my veggies. And so I use, for my quinoa salad, um, I use um, celery, I use bell peppers, I use red onion, I use fresh cilantro, tomatoes, um, and then for my dressing, what else do I do? Oh, and I use a little feta cheese for a little flavor. And then for my dressing, I use um, fresh, I squeeze fresh lemon, fresh lime, and a little bit of olive oil. So that's kind of um, my signature quinoa salad that I make. And then what I love about it, hi Carrie, I think you were on last time I was making quinoa salad, so I'm not going to go into all the details. Um, I hope uh, you guys have tried to make it before, but if not, I will share my recipe, but I was just kind of going over real quick what I um, put in it. So that's kind of my baseline, and then that I love because I just stick it in the fridge, and then I can add fresh meat to it every day because if I just make it all with the meat or an avocado, um, then it tends to, you know, it only lasts a few days in the fridge. So I make a big batch of the quinoa salad and it'll last about five to seven days. So I try to make that like my lunch habit. Um, if I have that made, then I won't, um, I won't get tempted to eat anything else. Um, and so, and then I add the, the chick, the fresh chicken, um, and avocado because, oh my gosh, avocado is my favorite thing in the world. If you don't know that already, uh, if you, I, if you're not allergic to avocados, um, I, you know, I highly recommend them. They're so healthy for you, for your body, your skin, your mind, everything. It's just, it's the most amazing fat that you can consume. So, and it's delicious. So good. So anyway, um, so I was just kind of um, looking up, um, you know, some of the ingredients and I wanted to share with you guys um, that, you know, what we put in our bodies, which I think everybody, you know, pretty much knows it's kind of common sense where, you know, the healthier we eat, the better our skin is, the better our body performs, um, the better sleep we get. I mean, the list goes on, right? It's just um, a, a healthy lifestyle all the way around. And um, so, you know, it's not, it's not like a big surprise that, um, certain ingredients or certain vegetables, hi Sarah, have, um, 
vitamins in it that help our skin, you know, become the healthiest that it can be. So, um, as I was making my quinoa salad, I have like three, I, my staples for this salad, um, I have like three of those vegetables that I, that I use. So I wanted to share that with you. So <clears throat> the first thing is bell peppers. Um, and it says, you know, red and yellow, um, are the best, but I tend to, I, I like my salads really colorful. So I get the tri pack from, um, Trader Joe's. So it has all three colors in it and it just, it looks so pretty in your salad and it's delicious. But let me tell you a little bit about bell peppers. So bell peppers, um, you know, have a huge amount of beta, uh, carotene, which, um, your body naturally transfer or, um, naturally converts to vitamin A. So vitamin A, we know, um, especially in the skincare world, that's like the best thing for your skin, right? Um, so bell peppers have a ton of that, and that is so cool. In fact, one cup of chopped uh, bell pepper has 92% of the RDI um, for, for vitamin A. So, you know, you'll get your full, um, you know, almost your full, um, you know, daily dose of vitamin A just from having a cup of fresh um, bell pepper. So that was super cool. Another thing that I use are tomatoes. Um, I like these ones because they're easy to cut up um, and easy to, um, I like the, the mixed, it's a cherry tomato. And um, I get this again from Trader Joe's, love Trader Joe's by the way. Um, Trader Joe's sprouts are my two stores and then I also do Costco for bulk and um, and maybe like a Walmart or a, a Ralph's you know for little odd and end things but anyway most of my stuff comes from there so tomatoes are an excellent source of vitamin C so vitamin C you know is um, so good for your skin because it helps protect your skin from the Sun and it also helps which kind of in turn helps prevent wrinkles so hi sally oh your baby's uh your granddaughter is so beautiful um so um you know vitamin c is so good for your skin um in the sense of, of protecting it from the sun which in turn helps you know prevent wrinkles um <clears throat> and then you know it's really important to know that you know eating you know having consuming these vegetables with you know these pure vitamins or taking vitamin supplements um, it's really important to know about absorption because we can eat all the vitamins and take all the supplements that we want, but if our body doesn't absorb them, then you're basically just going to pee them out. Excuse my, <laughs> my te in technical term there, um, or non-technical term, uh, but you're just going to pee it out. And so basically it's a waste. It's a waste of money with buying supplements. Um, and it's a waste of, you know, spending time chopping up your veggies, um, you know, buying organic, eating organic, um, if you're not going to pair it with the right things to help your body absorb it. So, um, you know, vitamin C is best paired with a healthy fat. So um, I kind of talked a little bit about avocados at the beginning. So if you have um, a tomato and an avocado together, oh my gosh, like you're in good shape. Um, but I also use vitamin, or I'm sorry, I use olive oil. In my salad and so that's another healthy fat and so what that does is the combination of the healthy fat and the tomato is going to help the body absorb the vitamin c instead of just kind of letting it go through your digestive system and then your waste so um really really important stuff and you know avocados i think i touched on um but specifically are so good for your skin um you know keeping it flexible and keeping it moisturized um, it has a huge amount of vitamin E, and actually, um, I read that a lot of people have a vitamin E deficiency these days. So, um, you know, vitamin D is huge, or I'm sorry, vitamin E is huge, is so good for the skin. And when you combine it, again, it's all about combination. So, if you don't know, you know, about that, Google it. I mean, I love Google. Like, we can just find all this great information out. Um, you know at our fingertips so it's so wonderful but if you combined um, you know the vitamin E and the vitamin C so an avocado and a tomato um, then it's gonna actually increase your call it's gonna help your body create collagen so we all know collagen is great for strong healthy skin um, and so those two uh, vitamins are gonna help 
you create that process. So I just found that really, really fascinating. Um, you know, definitely make sure you eat your bell peppers, your tomatoes, and where's my avocado? Let me come over here. I buy avocados like, I mean, I have to have one every day. It's just like the most amazing thing, not just for my health, but just because I love the taste. Um, I make avocado toast in the morning <laughs> with um, Ezekiel bread and an egg white cooked in coconut oil. Um, so that's my breakfast. And then I also add this to my quinoa salad for lunch. So what I'm personally working on is my dinner, my dinner choices. So um, that's gonna be the next step, but one step at a time. So, um, you know, I just, I wanted to, you know, educate you guys cause I, I educated myself on it and I found it very fascinating. But I also wanted to let you know that, you know, these amazing vitamins and nutrients, you know, keep our skin healthy and glowing, but they don't necessarily help with the anti-aging process. I mean, we would have to eat like an absurd amount of tomatoes to get the vitamin C needed to protect us from the sun, right? And not, I mean, it would be silly if we just thought, oh, well, I don't need sunscreen because I eat a lot of tomatoes or I drink a lot of orange juice or whatever else has vitamin C in it. So, um, you know, just, I just wanted to let you know that, you know, if, um, if you also have problematic skin, you know, whether it's um, acne issues, eczema, you wanna come say hi? Okay. Um, whether it's acne, eczema, you know, dark discoloration, um, discolored skin, whether it's sun marks or melasma from pregnancy or, you know, aging spots from the sun, um, any of those um, issues and anti-aging aren't necessarily gonna be, um, you know, addressed with just eating the right things and eating healthy. And in fact, I actually, I've, I've shared with you this before that I struggle with acne. I've struggled with acne since my teenage years. Um, I continue to struggle with it, but um, I actually went all natural about three years ago um, to the point where I was using oils to wash my face. Um, I was consuming everything organic and healthy and clean, basically clean eating. Um, and um and my acne was and i and i did that for an extended period of time almost a year and my acne was worse than ever so it was very discouraging um you know because i thought in my head well if, if i'm eating 100 percent clean and i'm you know even washing my face with these natural products that why am i still breaking out um and so and then same thing with my son he struggles with eczema and so you know, he eats a very clean diet. For those who know us, he's gluten-free, pretty much dairy-free. Um, you know, he definitely has, he, he's obsessed with cheese because he couldn't have it for so long and now he can a little bit. So he does, um, he does eat, you know, fun stuff from time to time. But for the most part, we keep him on a pretty strict, healthy diet. Um, you know, just because we feel that, why, why should you have to deal with other extra issues in life right you know why why do that to ourselves so we do that for him i need to do it more for myself <laughs> but um we do that for him but he still struggles with eczema so um you know and you know my um i always kind of bring up my mom as an example um for the sunspots and the in the um really the sun damage you know we grew up in the palm desert palm springs area um, in southern california and so um sun is just it's a very sunny, sunshiny, which is beautiful, but um, you know, it definitely does damage to the skin. And you know, she um, had tried the all natural products as well and tried the clean eating. And again, that did not, you know, help with her sunspot. So, um, you know, I, I found some products that I, that have helped me, you know, keep my acne at bay, have helped Audric, um, you know, it doesn't cure any of this, but it definitely helps, um, you know, keep keep those problematic skin issues at bay. Um, and so Audric's um, so much less itchy and, you know, the poor guy, I mean, he would get it in his arms and his legs and he would just be itching and it would be raw and it was just horrible to watch. And um, we had to go on steroid creams for a long time um, until we found these amazing products that help with you know, with keeping his um, eczema at bay. And then with my, um, my mom, we have a product that, that she uses that, she, that has taken away, um, evened out her skin tone, taken away those dark marks. And so, um, and help, and help in, in the anti-aging process. So if you or anybody you know 
um, you know, have any of those issues or just simply want to protect your skin even more than just, you know, eating your healthy veggies um, and all of that, then, you know, definitely send me a message and I'd love to share what's been working for me and my family. And um, so I hope that helps you. And, and, and also, if you're interested, if you haven't already seen, because um, I've mentioned at the beginning that I've already done a live um, actually making my quinoa salad. So if you are interested in that recipe, um, let me know, send me a message as well, and I can shoot you that recipe. So um, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your weekend, and I'll see you soon. Bye.